Hey pals, it's Waltech. Now I know it's been a long time since I posted a video, and I'm very sorry. Life got very busy, it got very hectic, there was a lot of personal issues I had to work through, but I'm back. I do have a job now, however I am still planning on frequently uploading, so plan on that in the future. However, I know people have been waiting desperately for the 7570 overclocking video. Well that is this. <laughs> so. I do, I will upload a tutorial on how to overclock with the software, but that video came out to be 10 minutes, so I couldn't put it in with a video of the 7570. I will have that soon. But in this video, I'm just going to show you the results of overclocking and pushing the 7570 to its most stable um, overclock. I was decently surprised, and I'm going to show you the games that I played previously with the same exact settings, but the numbers are actually drastically different. Just take a look for yourself. In GTA 4, our previous numbers were 28 minimum, 34 on average, and 43 max. However, after we overclocked, we got 30 minimum. 46 average and a whole 60 FPS max. I do believe I must have had a setting from the previous and the uh, overclock that had it where it was capped. It might have been V-Sync. I was not actually expecting this card to even have the possibility of exceeding 60 frames per second, so I was pretty surprised. I do not like playing without V-Sync either, especially because these things like to screen tear a lot. Now moving on to Rocket League, I didn't see too significant of a change with the overclock. The minimum changed from 30 to 36, the average changed from 41 to 45, and the max changed from 45 to 49, which that's a they're decent gains. It's about 4-ish FPS on average. Um 6 for the low, which you're definitely not getting a uh, you know, 30 low, which is really nice. So, eh, decent gains in Rocket League, I'd say. Not the best I've seen. Now, what's super surprising is CSGO is notoriously known to be a processor oriented game. However, we've seen some great boosts in the overclock for CSGO. We went from a 25 minimum, 41 average, 100 FPS max to 33 minimum, 50 average, and 152 max. Those numbers are a drastic change for not even a penny to pay for that extra power, just overclocking. That's pretty amazing to me. So what do you guys think? Do you think this card is worth overclocking? To me it appears so. It's not very hard to do, maybe takes you little less than a day, but according to the games we played here, you get quite a significant gain. Now, if you want to see more content like this, or something you might want to see, let me know down in the comments. And if you want to be sure to catch my videos, you don't have to, but I would really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button, and if you're feeling real generous, click on that bell and you will be notified the moment I post another video. This has been Waltech, and I am signing out.